Hey you guys, so I am just wrapping up my workout out in our garage home gym. And ever since we started putting out more fitness related videos, workout videos, I've been getting tons of questions about, can you share your weekly workout routine? So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I've also kind of considered making an entire workout series for a whole week, modeling off of what I do every week. So if that's something you're interested in, then pop that in the comments below. But for now, I'm just gonna talk about it today as well as talk about my daily workout routine. So what time I work out, what I use to fuel up pre-workout and or post-workout. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So like I said, I'm not only gonna be talking about my weekly workout routine, but also my daily workout routine, how I fuel up pre-workout and or post-workout. So first thing I like to do is, it kind of depends on how hungry I am in the mornings, whether I do this pre or post, but today I'm doing it after my workout, but usually I'll come down, I'll grab a frozen banana, pop it in this Nutribullet cup, and then I take a whole scoop of the Sun Warrior Natural Blend. You guys know that we absolutely love Sun Warrior products, especially the protein powders. This one is completely raw, organic, everything. We will pop the link below in the description. If you are interested, you can get 20% off with our code EATMOVEREST. That being said, I'm gonna do a scoop of that. The natural tastes plenty good and sweet with just one banana in it. I really love it. It's just simple, easy, quick to do before or after a workout to get all those amino acids in. And then this is something I that's kind of new, but I've been absolutely loving because there are mornings, especially in the cold winter, where I just feel sluggish and slow and I need a little pick-me-up or maybe a little bit of something to kind of alkalize and get my body amped up. So I've been using this Teamy Green Superfood Blend and it has everything in it. It has a little bit of matcha, which has natural plant-based caffeine, but I w I'm really sensitive to caffeine, so I wouldn't say by any means that it makes me jittery or leaves me with a crash like coffee would, which I've never drank coffee in my life for that reason, but I really, really love this because it's just a smooth ride, gives you a little boost of energy without feeling really anxious or hyped up. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what all is in it. One scoop is just 35 calories, there's no fat in it. It does contain three grams of protein. And then look at this, it's got wheatgrass, chlorophyll powder, spirulina powder, chlorella powder, spinach leaf powder, broccoli, kale, kelp, rocket leaf, parsley, celery, grapeseed extract, dandelion extract. So everything you need to kind of, uh, like I said, alkalize your body. Yes, I'm breastfeeding and it has been completely fine while breastfeeding. I'm not sure about pregnancy, but I would venture to guess that it's okay. So I would do your own research on that. Ask your physician. Love this stuff, great. Also in a hot tea. So sometimes I don't use it for pre or post workout, but especially in the winter, it's cold. I like to just take a scoop and put it in some hot boiling water and mix it up and take it with me on the go. So there is a discount below. I will leave the link in the description. Check it out. You guys are gonna love this stuff. Big thank you to Teamy for sponsoring this video. They also sent me an awesome tumbler. I love that it has this little secret spot to hold my vitamins and pills. So this is just my prenatal and an omega-3. And then the other cool thing is it has this filter you can pop in if you wanna put some fruit in the bottom or some loose leaf tea. I'm gonna take this, go upstairs and get ready for the day. All right, you guys, so let's get right into it. Apologies in advance if little man is a little wild and crazy. <laughs> he did not wanna be in his playpen right behind me. So we're gonna power through this and I promise we will get into the juicy stuff. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys, like I said, my daily workout routine and my weekly workout routine. Starting out from day to day, I 
really like morning workouts. So my number one tip for you guys and for myself is prioritize. So make fitness a non-negotiable, especially since becoming a new mom to Mr. Max last year. I'm now 12 months postpartum, by the way, and I feel like I am in the best physical shape of my life. And I credit it to morning workouts. So usually while Dusty and Max are still in bed sleeping, I'm up bright and early, 6.30, 6.45. I like to get out into our garage gym and get my workout done right away. Come here, baby. Do you need a hug? Yeah, I knew you did. I love you. You want to go play so I can get through this? Can you say bye? Bye! My number two is fuel up. And you already saw how I like to fuel up pre or post workout, but nothing is worse than trying to get in a sweat session when you are running on empty. So it's not a good way to lose weight or get toned or anything like that. There are fasted workouts that do work sometimes depending on what you've had the night before, but I just say fuel up if you feel at all hungry. Don't try to starve yourself into a sweat session. It's just no go. So I like to fuel up before or directly after. Usually I do both. Um, nothing too heavy, maybe just a banana before or my shake right before or after. Number three is find support. So maybe that means you do join a gym if that's your thing, but there are a lot of online communities as well. Even your partner or a friend can be a good support system for you. I love doing workout videos. I'm a workout video junkie, and we'll get into that when I talk about what I do each day of the week but I love to do workout videos. I love Sean T with Beachbody because he keeps me motivated. Um, I love to find other YouTubers. There are so many online resources. Find that support or seek it out in your spouse. Dusty and I love working out together. Probably, I would say about three days a week, we get out there together with Max bring the, and we bring the pack and play out with us. Number four is set goals. So every day I have a small goal for myself, but I also have some kind of big picture long-term goal, whether that be to just tighten and tone my core and midsection, plump up that booty for summertime, or maybe it is a bigger goal like running a half marathon, which Dusty and I have done together and I have done a handful of by myself. So setting goals can be really helpful. That's something I do, like I said, on the daily. I just like to get myself amped up, psyched out for a good workout. My number five tip would be to do what moves you. So this is one of the reasons why I canceled my gym membership. It felt so monotonous and so boring to go from machine to machine. I was too in my head and I just have found that if I get out on the bike path and go for a run or a ride, or if I do a workout video, I tend to stay a little bit more focused. So it almost becomes like a moving meditation and it gets you out of the daily grind in your own mind. So do what moves you, change it up. Don't be afraid to try new things. Changing it up has been huge for me, not only to keep me mentally stimulated, but to keep my body physically stimulated by trying new things, doing different forms of movement, working different muscle groups, fast twitch, slow twitch, muscle fibers, all of that good stuff. My number six would be to push yourself, but also love yourself. So when I go out into the garage gym, I always push myself to my limits. That being said, I do take solid rest days. So there have been days on end where I try to go work out every single day and eventually it starts to wear on me mentally and physically and I just don't ever feel like I get a good workout for days on end. So I have found that if I'm feeling that I need a rest day, I take a solid rest day. That doesn't mean that I sit on my butt on the couch all day, it just means that maybe I go for a walk that day instead of working super hard. Allowing your body to recuperate can really allow you to get back out there and really push yourself on those days that you are in the gym or that you are working out at home. And on the same token though, love yourself through it. I cannot stress this enough. It's something that Dusty has had to remind me of because I tend to go like this. I get really good at the self-love. I'll be thinking positive thoughts, speaking positive words, and then I'll get really down on myself and say, I don't like this about myself or I wish I could do this. So if there's things that you can't do quite yet, or if you don't like a certain a uh, physical feature or aspect of your body, just love yourself through it and it all starts in your mind. So 
thinking positive thoughts that will translate into speaking positive words. Leave yourself sticky notes with self-love mantras all over the place if you have to. That has worked well for me in the past, but definitely still a work in progress. I'm not perfect at this one, but it is crucial for gaining the best physical fitness of your life. Number seven and finally is change it up. So like I said earlier, I used to be a cardioholic and I would only do running and riding. And then I started to lift and all I would do is lift weights and I felt like I couldn't get that breath work in. So now I've just decided I love to change it up. And like I said, I don't own a gym membership anymore, but that doesn't mean that I don't go to gyms from time to time. So I love to pop in to a couple of my favorite little boutique studios and do a spin class or a bar class, a yoga session, um, maybe like a boot camp course or something like that so I can be around my friends in the community. That always helps to reinvigorate me and push me and it's just fun, like I said, to change it up. So don't be afraid to you know, get out of your rut, out of your routine. You don't have to only be a power lifter. You don't only have to be a marathoner. I never in my wildest imagination would have thought or guessed that I would be in the best physical shape of my life. So I have been on both ends of the spectrum. I haven't been extremely sickly skinny or extremely overweight, but I have been underweight and I have been overweight. And now I feel like I am at a very good spot with my body and I am learning to be at peace with things that have never been perfect. But at the same time, I feel like I'm finally seeing results and it's because I'm number one, enjoying what I do and allowing myself to try new things. I've got a great blend, a great routine of both cardio, toning, sculpting, and lifting. So let's get into that now, what I do seven days of the week. So we're gonna start on Monday because everybody loves Mondays, right? <laughs> But in all honesty, Mondays are my most intense fitness session. I just like it that way because I don't love Mondays, but I know that if I get up first thing in the morning and I get a solid sweat session in, it's going to be the best start to my week. So my Mondays are full body power lift. So what I mean by that is I'll go out into the garage and I will do a five minute treadmill warm up on our Bowflex and then I will go straight into squats, which are like my least favorite, but they also burn the most calories and they make me feel the strongest. So I will go right into squats and then I will do some kind of um, cardio bursts and supersets in between. So maybe squat jumps and wall sits and that also helps work your quads. I'll do some lunges with weights in my hands. I will do some hip thrusts hip thrusts with the barbell on my hips. I'll do all that kind of stuff. And then I will go into upper body. So I will do bench press, chest press, flies, curls, triceps, all that good stuff, full body. I will also use ankle weights and I will lay on the floor and do leg lifts and all kinds of core things and working my booty also with the ankle weights. I can show you guys all that stuff. So yeah, Mondays are intense and I like it that way. Tuesdays would be something a little bit more targeted, a little bit more focused. So I really like to focus on my weakest points. So I will do glutes and core and I will just hit them hard. So again, I'll start with a cardio warm up on the treadmill and then I'll do some ankle weights uh, work for my glutes and my core. I do a lot of plank type things for my core as well. So a three minute plank will seriously floor you. It's almost impossible to do no matter how fit you are. So give that a try. Um, and then I will usually end that with something like hill sprints. So we live on the top of a hill. So I will jog down the hill, sprint all out all the way up and I'll go down slow. And so I'll go back and forth about five times. So basically I just do glutes and core and then I will do like some kind of cardio sweat to finish out my workout. Most of my workouts each day end up being about 45 to 60 minutes, but I never go more than an hour because I'm crunched for time typically. And I just feel like I get the most effective workouts. If I know I have a shorter window of time, I work myself harder in that shorter period of time. So that's what I would recommend for you guys. Wednesday's kind of a free for all since it's hump day. 
I like to kind of do whatever I feel called to do so I can keep things interesting and exciting. And like I said, love cardio still to this day. So maybe that means I'll go out on the bike path for a half hour run, or maybe I'll set myself a goal of six miles. That's kind of my sweet spot is anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour. So that's about all the further I'll go if I do a long run, or maybe I will just do like a 20 minute run and then I'll come back and do a cardio video. Like I said, I love Sean T beach body workouts. My favorites are T25, um, the T20 workouts. I used to love insanity, but I don't do those quite as often anymore, but I really love the 20 minutes. So if I can do like some cardio and then some video, that keeps me really, really mentally stimulated and gets me really breathing and sweating. So moving on into Thursday, I kind of jump back into the lifting, but I target more specific body groups. So I will do like Thursday and Friday, we'll say one day would be like an arms day, one day would be a legs day. So let's say Thursday is my arms day. So I will go back into the bench press, curls, triceps, um, flies, shoulder press, I try to hit it all. I'll do a lot of push-ups and tricep push-ups. Again, maybe doing some plank work for extra upper body and also hitting the core that way. So I do a lot of stuff just on my own and then I will usually finish it out with one of my workout videos. I do have an arms and abs video, which is awesome for my arms day. So again, working weak spots, um, simultaneously working the arms and the core at the same time, it gives you a much better calorie burn and you get to work mul multiple muscle groups at the same time. So I really love that video. I will link that one below. Friday would be lower body. So leg day, everybody's favorite. So usually what I will do is hit the squats again and lunges with um, weights in my hands. Um, I love to use my ankle weights and my resistance bands. So if you guys have seen, I have a video where I wrap it around my legs. So I will do that and then I can work my glutes and my legs. So that would be like a Friday lower body workout video that you guys could check out. And then Saturday, Saturdays are my favorite. I love Saturdays regardless, like no matter what's going on, Saturdays are always awesome. I try to kind of stick to waking up early, even though I do allow myself to sleep in a little bit, but I love to use Saturdays as a day where Dusty can watch Max for an hour and I will pop into a gym group workout. So my favorite is Fly, which is a boutique studio that does hit bar yoga and spinning. My favorite is to go there and do a spin class. I actually, fun fact, used to be a spin instructor and bar instructor there. I'm hoping to get back into it eventually when Max is a little bit older, but I absolutely love the community of women there. They are all so strong, so powerful, so beautiful inside and out. And I love to pop in for a 45 minute bar session or my favorite is actually spinning. So I absolutely love it. Can't recommend it enough. It is the best sweat session of the week for me. My other favorite has been a boot camp class at our mega gym here called Genesis. So it's a huge gym. They offer tons of variety of classes. And my brother, who's actually a bodybuilder, former uh, Husker football player, he loves lifting, but he also kind of like, kind of like me, he doesn't like to just lift. He likes to be well-rounded. So these boot camp classes are awesome, like flipping tires, pushing heavy things on the ground, lifting heavy, th heavy things, throwing giant balls between each other. It is an awesome workout. I try to keep Saturdays, again, kind of like Wednesdays, like my fun free for all day where I can just do whatever and they are absolutely amazing. And last but not least, Sundays. So Sundays are a great day of rest and Instead, like when it's summertime at least, when it's spring, summer, and fall, we usually use that as our day to walk to the farmer's market. It's just about a mile down the street and then a mile back, so that's a great way to still get in some activity, but otherwise, even in the winter, we bundle up and we will go for super long walks with the stroller and with Bo, with Max and Bo, and I love it. I love walking more than I ever have in my entire life. So I would also highly recommend on top of your weekly workout schedule, factor in some outdoor time to just walk and be in nature because nothing feels better in the world. So it's still exercise. It's honestly great exercise. Another thing I will sometimes do on my rest days 
or I will, or if I do like a half day workout, I will clean the house on that day because again, it's another form of moving your body without working out, you know, checking into a gym and checking out. So vacuuming and mopping are serious workouts. So maybe use your rest day as a day to clean and kind of tidy up your house instead. So that's something else that I really like to do. All right, you guys, so that wraps it up. What I'm gonna do for you is in the description box below, I'm going to take the workout videos that we do have that we've created and I will put one for each day of the week that you can do to kind of get into a routine because like I said, I do a ton of workout videos. Usually I like to do the ones that are right around 20 to 25 minutes, which is why we've created them mostly about that length or even a 10 minuter that you can tack on the end of a workout. So these 20, 25 minutes, even 10 minuters are great to use in conjunction with something else that you're doing at home on your own. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want us to create an actual like seven day workout series, we would love to do that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the move portion of our Eat, Move, Rest channel that we're trying to start integrating more of. We have been seriously focused on fitness and going into 2020, we're gonna get into even better shape. We're gonna make those V gains. <laughs> we can share recipes with you guys too if you wanna know more about what we eat to stay fit. Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join us here. We'd love to have you be part of the Eat, Move, Rest fam. As always, leave us some love in the comments below. You can follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik. And don't forget to eat, move, rest your best. Bye, guys. Peek. Who's that? Is that our Eat, Move, Rest fam? <laughs> Something else is that Mr. Max loves to come out into the garage and play around in his little pack and play while we work out. And what I always try to do is, especially on lifting days, because again, going back to my cardio tendencies, I'll take Max out of his pack and play. We will turn on an awesome, fun dance song and just dance it out for like three or four minutes. And it's a fantastic way to get him excited too about working out so involve your kiddos however you can it's not always easy there are a million excuses especially when you have little kiddos but just keep at it and figure out how you can make it fun for the whole family isn't that right bud yeah on that note i think it's time to break out in a little dance session two come on two three dance 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 <gasps> <laughs> love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Mommy loves you. Are you ticklish? Are you ticklish? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> <laughs>